Jeeves, here you go. We're down here, we're going to have a cook up on the beach, mate. Um, haven't had one of these for a long time, eh? so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, we're going to have steak. I forgot to bring the eggs, eh? We're going to cook some camp oven bread. That's the main thing. That's so yummy. That stuff's going to be garlic loaf. Eh? I was going to do cheese with it this time. I should have known. But anyhow, that's what we're doing. Let's get on to it. And don't do anything I wouldn't do, but praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, look. We're armed with the shuttle. And what we're going to do, we're going to dig a hole just here, put our fire down. And, uh, praise Jesus, mate. There's some guys down here fishing, or they were. It's low tide here. And I can't fish because all our rods are in for repair at the moment. I've just got to bind them up. Bind the tips and the, and the rings on. And they'll be good to go. I'll do that when I get home, I think. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to have a bit of a cook up. Got to get a fire going because we're going to make camp oven bread. That takes an hour and a half to cook. Plenty of pine cones around here, praise Jesus. And plenty of firewood. So let's get this show on the road, Trevs. That's where the fire's going, Trevs. And there it is. Hey, Trevs. Of course, you're almost looking as handsome as I am, you jaggers. Praise Jesus. Well, we've got to get the coals on that fire so we can get the camp oven bread done and get that down on its trivet here. And uh, I missed this cook up, mate. We didn't have one while we were away on holiday. In fact, it'll be probably a couple of months since we've had a cook up down the beach here. Just an easy one, just steak and uh, onions and baked potatoes and kumara in the fire. Yeah, and a bit of camp oven bread, but let's get the bread on, eh? We've got the fire going to get the coals. Because that's what we need, lots of coals for the uh, camp oven. Praise Jesus for camp oven bread. It's a little bit, um, wet the wood, eh? But we'll get there, praise Jesus. These are like gold nuggets down here, guys. I kid you not. Right, eh? Let's get onto that camp oven bread, eh? Right, eh, my old mate? So I had to go and buy myself a new bowl, because, uh, I can't remember what it Oh, the white one went missing. And all that. Now we've got everything we need in here. A bit of water here for us. Yeah, what we need is eight cups of flour, my old mates, for those who haven't seen me do camp oven bread before. In fact, while we're starting here, thank you to all the new subscribers. There's been quite a few of you in the last month or two, um, especially since uh, going over the bar plenty and all that. Yeah, thank you very much for subscribing and liking and all that sort of carry on. Um, and I really want to thank the financial supporters of, of the channel from uh, the ones that support us through YouTube um, and through Patreon. Okay, I oh, thank you very much. And those ones that give us the, the donations and that through YouTube, I oh, thank you very much. Um, it, it, you know, it, really, it does help us out. It helps us out quite immensely, actually. For you guys supporting us and that, I really appreciate it. So does old Rangy. She's not here today, but she did say she might come down later on. But we'll see. And if she does, she's going to bring four eggs for us. Because I forgot to bring some eggs. But that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks very, very much, eh? Um, yeah, just one thing for old Bandy. And his, and his wife, Maureen. Uh, the gas guzzlers, guys. It, uh, the first... Sunday of the month. Yeah, it is. It's the first Sunday of the month. Um, 8.30 to 12. And it's down behind the courthouse here in Gisborne, which is Reed's Key, I think it is. I think that's what it's called. And uh, just go on down and say hello and get a hamburger. He's a fellow with a little white goatee beard with the gazebo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just whilst I'm down there and have a good eye and all that sort of carry on. And they make excellent hamburgers, mate. I kid you not. I've had a couple myself. Those hairs on the chest. Right, now back to this. 
eight cups of self raising in one of these bags here holds eight cups for the bread we're going to make. So you don't have to get all fancy and measure it out and all that carry on, you just dump it straight in the bowl. Praise Jesus. This makes a good fire starter for another day. It's called recycling. Now hang on, I'm just going to have a gander at the fire. Oh, that's all good. Yeah, of course, I haven't made one of these for a while, you know. Very handy, these things, paper towels. Oop. Better move that out of the way, mate, because that's today's kai. Put him around there. I'm just starting to get a bit of a breeze coming up here, guys, but I'll tell you what, it is actually really quite hot here, too. Oh, there's another handy tower. Good. Here, yeah, ever so handy they are. Praise Jesus for camp oven bread, eh? Right. Now, where are we? Here's me good old paddy whacker, mate. Don't get out of lawn, smackies. Now. Rose hairs on the chest. In the famous Himalayan doors. This really grows hairs on the chest. Now they reckon about a teaspoon of salt. I don't know how much comes out of out of this. But I'm reckoning probably about this much. And a bit more. And praise Jesus. Just like that. Now, good old Kniffy. Let's cut the butter off. That little container here, I bought this off team, it was only just a few dollars. There's a whole set of them. There's probably about enough butter, Travis. A couple of ounces or however many ounces you like. Now some people, and I used to, I don't anymore, would put a bit of sugar in there, you know, it'll be a tablespoon or something like that. Doggies day out today, eh? All the doggies are down the beach over there. I can't zoom in because I haven't got to zoom anymore. Yeah, and people would put uh, a bit of um, sugar and stuff in there. I should have grated the cheese, so I thought about the cheese. But we're certainly having a whole heap of that in there, mate. Alright, let's we'll go down and melt this butter. One thing about these fires, guys, instant heat. One thing you don't want to do is burn your butter. Got to keep it looking all good and nice. Just about there. And that be what it should be looking like at all, at all. Good to see you takers are onto it. <laughs> oh, that's all the butter we're going to need down here. Now we've got our salt, flour, and a bit of this old butter here, eh? this in and then we put in two cups of milk I'm pretty sure I bought down oh my goodness I think I left the milk behind oh we'll just have to go three waters eh and it says like three rivers here in town well I've certainly left it behind there's no doubt about that I've never made this with three waters, mate. I don't think it'll taste as good. Right. Now we have about three nice fills, mate. One. Two. Three. One for praise Jesus, eh? Four. That'll grow ears on somebody's chest, I'm sure. 
here, so I got the milk here, the fridge must have left it on the bench, eh? Never mind, hang on, that's the phone. Hot, and it's a bit, a little bit of a breeze. There you go, Trevs, there's ringing on the phone. <laughs> going to do, we are going to use a water trimmers. We've got plenty of that here. And I know I bought the Dancing Ladies Cup because I was doing it today. Oh God. I might have forgotten that too. Oh, yeah, this is going to be interesting isn't it? <laughs> I'm beginning to think I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Now, one of those tinnies, one of those cups. I'm not quite sure if I'll just put one of these in to start with, eh? And then we shall add accordingly. See, now, things can go wrong, mate. You can guarantee it's always to this Kiwi. <laughs> but that's the way it is. Haven't even got any milk powder, eh? Well, fancy that now, eh? We get to the cup as well. Sea looks murky to me. Even with that, my glasses are well, they're Polaroids, eh? But there's still a fish around in murky waters. This truck's going in to get its roof repaired, mate. Have a look at this, hang on. Come in here, you look. Give a good old gander. Just flip that up. That's a pain in the back sort to do. See this here? All the roof linings come off right, right through. And that's because we're driving around with our windows open, mate. You know, nothing wrong getting a bit of air under the armpits to clean them out and that sort of carry on trips. So it's going in on Friday to get done and they're putting on a lot better stuff too from what I can see. And that's six hundred dollars, mate, that we don't have. I'm glad Friday is payday from YouTube. That's all I've got to say. But praise Jesus, it is what it is. Yep. So we're getting a bit of a goo here together, as you can see. So it's eight cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt. I just sprinkle in whatever I'm in. Um, a couple of ounces of butter and all, all the good stuff. No, it's two cups of milk and a cup of water. At this time it's just getting the douse in the water, mate, because we left the, left the milk and the cup behind. But that's all good. Well, I'm sure worse things in life have happened now, mate. You know, one thing about Gizzy, mate, I didn't want to come back from the bar plenty, but you know, you have to at the end of the day. There's plenty of wood on the beach to have a good old cook up. There's not, not a lot over the other side. There is a bit there, but not much. You know, a lot, a lot in port, mate, you'd be scratching to have a fire. Oh, gee, you jokers can't smell the uh, garlic. Oh, gee, it's beautiful, mate. Oh, I kid you not. Now, I'll just get the campy. That's our campy, mate. Yep, clean as a whistle inside. Well oiled as they should be. Looking pretty good to me, Trevor's. Yep, yeah, getting the sand and the rubbish off this, eh? By crikey. This is good, mate. Now, yeah, one thing we're going to learn about this episode is that we. <laughs> We're going to find out whether it's better with milk or without. I'm sort of hoping it'll be without because that way it saves you an expense, so. Eh? Now, something I want to talk to you jokers about. That Waiho trip over the other side, it's actually up on the internet. It's a four hour movie of us with all the movies together. If you know what I mean, episodes one to four all combined into one. Um, and 
What do you guys think? You'd like to see the full four hour movie again or just, just leave it as the episode? I, I, I'll probably put it up anyway because there are people around that like to sit in and have a coffee and watch a good long movie. I know guy Jim Baird Adventures, he does that. Puts the episodes up, then puts up the whole movie. Some of us are like 12 hours long. But he's doing paddling the Canadian rivers and all that sort of stuff. Good, good channel, guys. I thoroughly enjoy watching them. Jim Beard Adventures. And it's Beard, B A I R D. Jim Beard Adventures. Praise Jesus for campies, mate. Yep, this is two to go in the camp oven. Praise Jesus, he's just about ready. Woo hoo hoo! A little bit sticky in the old place. Should have put powder on the board first. Silly boy. She's ready, guys. She's gonna turn out to be a cracker. <laughs> Look at that, there's not much powder on my chest. Get her on the fire, right? Put the lid on so no sand gets in there. We'll see you jokers down at the fire. See a trivet with the uh, coals underneath. Glory to our God, mate. Right, let's get some coals around that thing. me old mate. That's how you do that sort of things guys. Now we're going to get our fire going. We'll get Siri on the job. Hey Siri. Set the timer for one hour and 15 minutes please. One hour and 15 minutes. Counting down. There you go Trips. Just like that. some baked potatoes to put on this fire. Well we're going to bake potatoes on here I should say. And kumra and a bit of steak and onions. Doesn't matter we'll all just let that burn away, keep that going. About 10 past 10 we'll put the spuds on the fire and the kumra. I don't know how long the kumra will take but I guess we'll find out. Praise Jesus eh? Bit of a breeze coming along the beach here, guys, and Easter, eh? Not really good for camp oven breads. That's our setup down there. And that's our fire there, praise Jesus. Right, I think we'll go and sit over there and have a bottle of water. I'll have to collect some more wood shortly, but that's all good. I want a drink first. We can have a bit of a yarn. Well, there you go, guys. That's the camp oven bread done. Siri's got it on timer. Right, well, I guess we won't be needing this anymore. Oh, that can go over there. That can go there. That can go back in its bag. Going to wrap up the uh, spuds and kumara now. And this is what you use. 
they send you West Enemy Ghost. Just wrap these up, then I'll go and get some uh, firewood for this fire there, and he'll just have a check on it, actually. All looks good at this stage. With the campy and the fire. Now, these old fellas. <laughs> Two each for me and Mum. Just going to wrap these up. I think Mum wraps them twice. So we'll do the same, eh? I'll tell you what, mate. You do bake potatoes at home. But they're nothing like having them off the fire. Nothing like having them off the open fire like this, though. There you go, Trebs. Rattle your dags. Get down there and do it. You know, those of, those of you who've got peaches without fire, we'll just go down and get a sack of forward from the warehouse or something. Just go down and have a good old cook up, mate. Get away from the town, mate. Eh? That'll grow hairs on you, Jesus. Living in the town drives me nuts. Glory to you, God, guys. Turned on a beautiful day. Double insulation means they should stay warm a bit longer, right? Eh? Well, I hope they do. And the ring, you see, pokes holes in them. But I'm not. I'm just gonna <laughs> wrap them up and see what happens. <laughs> you know, they might blow up for a while, eh? I doubt it, that's not it. We had a good trip over the other side, it was really enjoyable. It's just a bit poor on the fishing though because I'd had, had rough weather and just a week before we got there. And of course there was um, seaweed and stuff everywhere, you've seen it all though. Oh, that's the spuds done now, old mates. Now, I'm going to go and get some firewood for that fire and we'll come back and do the coomers. There's only two of those. Cheers, ears. Don't leave your plastic bottles and rubbish on the beach, mate. It's terrible what people have been doing around here. I'll show you in the video, I'm pretty sure I've got it at home. Someone's dumped all the, their washing machines and freaking mattresses. And stuff. Look at this, guys. Been dumped on our beaches, eh? I hope the council finds some information about who, who this all belongs to because it's just not on. Coomers, mate, it's best to get the round ones because the ones with the spin, you know how they sort of cylindrical, so that's what I mean. They get the, the, the actual end of it to poke through the poke through the tin foil, and you don't want that, eh? Yeah, you see, these normally have a root on them, eh? You don't want that. It just makes it easier, that's all. Oh, they're set up. Praise Jesus. Four tapies, two kumara. Right, oh, Trez, what are we going to have a good old yarn about now? Probably a whole lot of nothing. Camp oven's okay, that's still going. Right, more canoe. I haven't put the truck up for sale yet. We're, we're pondering on that idea at the moment. We've got to get the roof fixed as I'm showing you anyway. The canoe's up. Uh, I've got 2,200 on that. It's just probably just over three years old, if that. Probably around about three years old. It's a good canoe, it's got a couple of paddles to go with it. Uh, one's 57 inches, the other's 54. Um, that's what they're written, I don't know what that is in centimetres, I've got no idea. But uh, one's for tall people, one's for short people, Hori and Rangi, typically. <laughs> um, 
that's up on Facebook for sale. Uh, put it in the marketplace and oh, quite a few other ones. Eh? The Max you're allowed anyway. Because when I did the last one, the rest of them all grayed out. So. And when we sell that, we're going to look at getting a either a two-person kayak or two single kayaks. There's, there's one on Trade Me. I forget what it's called. It's, um, they're good too. They're done by the fishing club or something up north, I think it is. To get a couple of those, they look they'd be ideal for us. You know, we're only doing coastal stuff, mate. We're not going 10 miles out of the sea or anything. That's what we're going to do. But what we're going to sell a canoe first, eh? I wouldn't mind going over to Waiho Bay for a winter fish over there, actually. I believe the biggest snapper come in, in the winter months. So I've heard. Beautiful over there, mate. It really is, eh? Oof. I'd be living there tomorrow if I could. Yeah, about ten past ten my time, which is ten past eleven your time. You Jake is always late and I'm early. I like that already. But anyhow, um, we'll put the spuds on about ten past eight. Ten past or whatever o'clock it is. I've seen another sixteen footer I wouldn't mind. Mum wants one too, but I'm just wondering if she'll be able to handle the length of it. Now, is there anyone on this channel that's ever been to that 90 mile fishing competition, mate? I'd really like to, uh, I know it goes for about four days or something, somewhere around there. And people start, they camp up there and all sorts of things, eh? I reckon it'd be brilliant. Uh, so if anybody knows anything about that, just, just drop us a line, eh? And uh, down in the questions or whatever they call that thing. Comments. Praise Jesus. It's turned out to be a cracker of a day, mate. I kid you not. I could just be a go for a swim, actually. It's that hot, eh? We've got this fish seeker, mate. It was given to us. And um, I've got to get it going, now. Well, what we're thinking of doing, I'm pretty sure it would do it. We've got a... Old Tom has got an old hose reel with a bit of nylon on there. You know, real strong backbone for a long line type thing. And, uh, but he hasn't got a lot of it. I don't think there'd be enough. Um, to fill that up with nylon and tie it on the back of this thing. And it's got a, a carabiner on there. There's a spider on there. <laughs> um, it's got a carabiner on there which you can clip on a, um, the backbone. And then just send this thing out and you could probably put about 20 hooks on it, I reckon. Just have to look into it a bit more because it's only supposed to be a five hooker. And it goes for about a thousand yards. Or you can program it to whatever distance you want it to go. I reckon it'd be a 400 would be enough. And um, just see. I think it would work, eh? I really think it would work. Now, I'm talking yards and stuff like that, miles and air. And that's because the metrics, I was brought up with the Imperial and the matrix. I was bought up with pounds, shillings and pence and decimal currency. Um, I was there with the change over of both. The decimal currency came in 1967. If you ever find a 1968 coin, mate, hang on to it because it'll be worth a few bob. 1968 one. And um, bought up with feet and inches, miles an hour, and now we've got kilometres and metres and stuff. And the guy, somebody, I think it was a Jager the other day, said something about it, I don't understand what you're talking about when you're in feet and inches and stuff. It's, um, you know, you can go on Google to get the translation, but I, my natural thinking generally is the imperial, like a four by two, six by one and a half, you know, most Jagers wouldn't know what that was. I'm talking about timber there. Um, and it worked in those days, it'll work today. But that, that's the reason why I, I talk in miles an hour and um, sometimes I talk in metres and stuff. But I was there for the changeover of both. I was at school for both of those. But that's all good. Um, it's time to put the spuds on the fire and the kumara. We'll take them down on this mug. Uh, 
Grave hairs on your chest. Grave hairs on your chest, Trevors. Well, we didn't really want that. We wanted a bit of a fire going, mate. There you go. There's the spud. Well, I must say, we just to be a lost here fire dog, but it's all good. It is salvageable. And that's the main thing, just get this grate on. So you get an old rusty grate like this, guys. When you get an old rusty grate like this, burn it off on the fire first, otherwise, you end up with lockjaw or something horrible. You don't want to get that mate, you can go Rock towards tennis That there Guess what, we're going to cook our uh, steak And I'll bring those spuds to the top and it'll be around about half past ten See a skewer Everybody knows what they are I reckon about forty minutes for those Praise Jesus, eh? Then we see a mighty God, guys. Beautiful day. Tell you what, man, I have thoroughly missed having cook ups on the beach, eh? Have a look at that, Trebs. Doing well, eh? Now, Siri will tell us when the camp oven bread's ready. Oh, with all that smoke, I think we can give it a blow, eh? Spuds can come off there in 10 minutes. I just want to burn that grate, that's why I stuck it on there. Those spuds can come out of there in 10 and sit on the grate. off that rust quite nicely. Probably any other horrible things that are on there. Yeah, that bread will be around about half an hour away I would think. Well we just raised the grate up yours. Cut the bits of timber there and there just to raise up so we cook the steak on. Get those spuds and that another couple of minutes. Cool them out, make them just sit on the top break. Yeah. I've been cooking since about, been going for about 18 minutes so far. Well, we've certainly got an easterly blowing that way. I hope it doesn't get too strong before we go home. Sand in our food. Right, it's just going half ass. I'll take these buds out, put them on the grate, they can finish off on there. Wood on the floor, the crank up again, Trent. 
Look at you, Jagers, eh? Praise Jesus, eh? Yeah, well, we know the spuds are done, so we'll just put them right over yonder here. Just keep them huddled up together. Right, we'll just go and get some steak and stick it on this fire, eh? Praise Jesus, back in the whisker. Right, here we are, guys. Praise Jesus, eh? Going to be cooking with gas this lot, mate. So I'll go and get a plate to put them spuds in. I think they're, they're done nicely. Right, let's get this stuff on the road, mate. This will grow hairs on your chest. Just making sure there ain't too much sand on it. See, that one won't take long to cook. Oh, mate. Oh, there's three pieces in here. Four pieces. Oh, these are just bits and pieces, eh? Oh, well. Glory to our God, guys. It is what it is. Right, we better keep an eye on these. So I can get a plate. Oh, better check that campy too. I'll just get these buds off here because these are done. Time to check the campy out, eh? Now, I heard. Oops, it's alright. Clean him up. Yeah. Pull a few of these off, mate. Just brush them down. Oops. Excellent way to get your um sand and stuff off your campy, eh? There's plenty of this stuff around, mate. It grows like a weed. A girl told me this on the channel. Can't remember her name, but thank you very much. <laughs> it's, um... A lot easier than the way I was doing it, that's for sure. That looks like us there, Trevs. The bell went about probably four. Oh no, that's got a long way to go. Gee whiz, oh, I'd better get some more coals on that taker, mate. For sure. Ought to put the steak on too early. Yeah, so the old camp up and bread's got a bit of time to go, eh, guys? Amazing how it shrinks down, isn't it, Trebs, eh? Praise Jesus for steak, eh? Cooked on the fire. Back in a whisker, guys. Praise Jesus, eh? Glory to our God, mate. It's pretty much how my baby likes it. 
grows hairs on the chest, believe me. Right, better get this grate off, mate, to cool down. <coughs> Praise Jesus. Got to keep this going to do the bread, mate. Grow hairs on your chest, eh? Alright, there's our water trips. Here, yeah, let's just get a bit more on this campy, eh? We're just doing coals, eh? Keep the campy going. Alright, that's got the campy done, guys. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Righto guys, we're going to, just going to cut a track guys, put the fire out. Camp oven bread's all about done. On there you go, our mate. Righto you guys, I'll see you back home. And don't do anything I wouldn't do, but praise Jesus. Look at that tug of there. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> My baby. I didn't do the onions and I haven't done the um, fine. eggs. Boy, break this down there. There's the kumara guys, there's the potatoes, there's a bit of uh, campy bread, the steaks and all that sort of carry on. Yeah, here's a bit of this bread buttered up, mate. Oh, boy, gee. This that is, is yummy. It turned out awesome, Hori. Mmm. That's with just three waters, because old Hori forgot the milk, as he does. Mm. Just doing your potatoes. Oh, mm. gee, that's beautiful, guys. That garlic, eh? Mm. I'm going to do garlic and cheese next time. Look at that bandy coat there. Mm. I'm doing this for you. Mmm, thank you, Charles. <laughs> You'd love it to pieces, eh? Right, that's us, guys. Catch you next time. And enjoy. See ya. All right, Trev, how you going? Here's me, Dale's rangy head. Look at it, she just a Dale's. Eh? Mm, love it to pieces, eh? <laughs> right, now, with that, you takers, we just want to give you a word of thanks. For your patriotism, you know, your support, the financial supporters, the viewers, everybody. You know, we, we appreciate you from the depths of our heart, eh? Praise Jesus. Now, we just want you to check out our merch corner, eh? Which is right here. Mm -hmm.